Hey guys, what's going on? Alf here with another video. In this video today, I'm just doing a quick tutorial to show you how to use a steering wheel and pedals with GTA 5. So I've been trying to hotwire this thing for quite some time now, and I finally figured it out. Uh, basically, I've watched the different tutorial videos, and they're all either outdated or they don't work, or the links to the software you need are broken. The link to the software you're going to need for this video will be in the description. It's a direct download link right to the page where you download the software. Some other people were giving links to mirror downloads and things that didn't work. This should work here, no problem. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything else is plug in your steering wheel to your PC. You know, make sure that's good to go, it's detectable, and all that. So then what you're going to want to do is open up the software. You're probably going to get this screen here. If it can't find this X input file, it's going to ask you if you want to create it. So I go over and I hit create. This next screen you're going to get is going to ask you for the settings for your steering wheel. I always have it search the internet for them. So you want to, you know, make sure this is checked. Then go over here and hit next. So now I found the settings for my steering wheel from the internet. Now I can come down here to finish. So then what you want to do is, of course, the most important thing here, and that's the steering wheel. So I'm going to turn my steering wheel left and right. You can see how this green cross over the left thumbstick is moving here. Uh, it's kind of stuck down towards the bottom, and what you're going to want to do to fix that is come down to stick access Y and just hit empty. Um, because for driving the car left and right, there's really no... Uh, other control for that left thumb stick. So you want to make sure that that's only going from left to right, not down or anything like that. So the next thing you want to do is map the controls for your pedals. Now the problem here is that the controls for brake and gas in GTA 5 are right trigger and left trigger. And you can see how when I step on the gas here, it's going to try to control this right thumb stick. So that's not going to work. We're going to have to fix that. So what you need to do is figure out which control goes to the right trigger. I did that by pressing the buttons to figure out which one is going to light up this right trigger. On my steering wheel right now, it's the start button. So now we just need to figure out which button that is. So we're going to come over to this tab for your race wheel. And I'm going to hit this button here. So now I'm going to hit the button again. And you can see in this buttons field, it's going to show the number. So this is button 08. So we're going to go back over to controller 1 general. So now we're going to go over here to right trigger. We're going to go to sliders, and you're going to want to check off the slider number for whichever button that was. In this case, it was 8, so I'll hit 8. So now you can see when I step on the gas, the right trigger is going to light up here. Except the problem is when I take my foot off the gas, it stays lit up here. So what we're going to have to do is invert the control because we want it to be, you know, sort of triggered when I'm stepping on the gas, not the other way around. So we're going to come down here to sliders and go to inverted and then slider 8. And then now when I put my foot on this gas, you're going to see this trigger is going to come on and off. So now we're going to do the brakes. So if I go back to the steering wheel tab and I put my foot on the brake, you can see how we're changing the value for this Y axis here, which is our second axis. Our steering wheel is the first one and our gas is the third. So we're going to want to go back to general here. We're going to want to select axis two uh, from this axis list here. So axis two. You're going to want to check to make sure nothing has to be inverted. So if I put my foot on the brake, you can see how this goes away. But when I take my foot off, it triggers the uh, left trigger here, which is the opposite of what we wanted to do just like before. So we're going to go back down to axes, inverted, and axis 2. Now when I put my foot on the brake, you can see how it engages. And when I take my foot off, it disengages. All right, so now if you want to, you can map the rest of your buttons. If you have a combo Xbox and PC wheel, that might be a good idea. So I'll show you how to do that. So for instance, I have an A button right here. It's a green A button, just like on the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, you can see how this is engaging this left bumper here, so that's not correct. So to map this properly, we're going to go over to this uh, steering wheel tab, just like we did before. I'm going to push the button. We're going to see that that's referring to button 05. Uh, right here, so we're going to go back over to general. We're going to want to go to a button, and we're going to want to select button 05. So there's button 5, and now when I hit this, we can see how it's engaging the A. It's also engaging this left bumper, so we're going to want to change that as well. So I'll press left bumper here, and we're going to see how that's actually engaging the right bumper. Go over to the steering wheel tab, we'll see that that's button 06. We'll go over to general, go over to left bumper, and hit button 06, and so on and so forth. So if you want to do that for all your controls, you can. If you don't want to, it'll work just fine the way it is. All right, so now that I've finished mapping the controls, I'll go down here and hit save in the bottom right corner. That'll save the controls file. All right, so now I'll go ahead and X out of this. All right, so now I have my GTA 5 directory open on the left, and I have the directory that the files for this program were in on the right. So the controls are going to save in these files. We're just going to want to go ahead and copy this over to the GTA 5 directory. So that's going to do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and launch the game and we should be good to go. All right, so now I'm in GTA 5. I'm going to go ahead and get into Michael's car here and we'll just start driving around. All right, so if everything works, when I hit this gas pedal, we should start going here. So let's cross our fingers and hope this works. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm using the steering wheel right now. I'm just trying to, okay. 
Just trying to make sure this over. This is actually the first time I've ever driven in GTA 5. I was hoping this would work. All right, so there you have it, guys. Steering wheel, pedals, GTA 5, it's working. I'm trying to drive right now and use this microphone, which is not really working here. All right, so this is pretty awesome, I gotta say. This is actually really cool. Uh, I'm just trying not to hit anything here. I'm trying to talk, do a tutorial, and drive at the same time. All right, so this is officially awesome here. I gotta tell you, I'm, I've got the hang of this wheel now. And boy, oh boy, this is awesome here. I, I told you, I feel like driving all around GTA 5 for no reason, because it's now, it's, you know, realistic. We've got the steering wheel and all that. That guy just cut me off like an asshole. But other than that, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I'll try to help. But other than that, that'll do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.